so first uh, before going into the operating system you just uh, should know the difference between a computer system and from that how operating system is different from a computer system okay uh, it is always better to start from the basic as well as beginning because uh, like in any subject understanding the fundamentals are why we are going why we are studying this subject that is very very important and what we are going to study in the subject is another important thing okay, in that way just want to clarify the difference between computer system and the operating system okay in that first i am going to take the word computer system yeah, from the computer system i am going to divide the computer system word into two single words or not a single word it is two different word having two different meanings everybody knows that system means it have separate meaning computer is have separate meaning okay so let me talk about computer okay what one more reminder if i ask a question what is computer definitely you will say this word okay it is an electronic data processing tool what i want to say it is a machine receives input processes them and produce output okay this is what normally hope everybody knows are comfortable up to this now i am extending the question computer as a system it is having some meaning computer is not a system okay so it is having some separate meaning for the word system okay normally what do you mean by system okay now i am going to apply in the field of computer okay to say it simply system means organization or group of something okay system means we are going to and uh, organize something or combine something or collect something okay combining so so many components are there if i collect all the components then it is called a system so system means what organizing something or combining something or grouping something based on the word something the word systems meaning will differ i think you are able to understand okay uh, what is computer and what is system now i'm going to combine these two computer as well as system see now you can easily understand what you mean by computer system okay computer system as i told a collection of physical components or collection of components or organizing organization of a components okay organization of components means what computer is a system is having three components that everybody knows from the beginning okay one input unit will be there one cpu will be there one output unit will be there see this is what we are calling as output unit monitor this is what we are calling as input unit keyboard now what is this this is called cpu central processing unit see how a monitor is placed above the cpu machine okay above the cpu machine so that only we are calling it as a computer system this all combined together referred as a computer system okay so if i have only this it is referred as a computer monitor okay if i take this separately it is called a computer keyboard if i take this separately i can call it as a computer cpu anybody can say what is this okay this is a computer okay world smallest computer then what is this it is a piece of rice okay in tamil it is called as arisi or arisi okay piece of rice see the size of the computer you know what is the size of a rice okay single rice grain of rice okay now see this computer see this previous diagram and this diagram this is also a computer this is also a computer okay now 
you can ask one question sir this you told as a computer system okay i am having three components so it is called as a system okay now what is this this is a, a computer system or not yes this is also a system because this is also combined together with the some parts or components if i remove this it will have some components on its own now i have grouped all the components so that is also called as a computer system okay so system is a common word used for combination or combining or grouping or organizing Be what you are organizing based on that it will add with one more word called computer so i am organizing the components of computer so i am calling it as a computer system so one question you may ask suppose if i am asking whether i can call this cpu as a system separately yes you can call it as a system because in cpu okay i think everybody knows what are the three major units memory unit execution unit and arithmetic logic unit okay three units are there see three separate components are there so it is also it, it can also be termed as a computer system okay so now i am not going to define the computer system using these three words something different okay something different what we are going to discuss about the computer system okay now i am going to give another important keyword called see before that what is computer system all parts that is units units means what input unit output unit and the processing unit okay can i have a computer without can a is a computer a meaningful system without giving input no if a computer can be termed as a useful system without getting any output no computer without a processor no it is not a computer see computer definition doesn't change don't forget that okay computer definition doesn't change or will not change at any cost a computer must have an input must produces an output must process the data these three work will be there for any computer that will not change all parts of the computer combined together and technically termed as one word anybody knows the word or guess the word you can unmute your mic and inform i can give a common name to all the components of the computer system okay so all physical components that are associated with the computer is termed as hardware every any any component okay you can add so many other components you can remove one or two components all physical components what you are seeing physically can be given a common name called the hardware okay now i am asking you one question whether keyboard is a hardware yes monitor is a hardware yes cpu box is a hardware yes the world smallest computer i told i show you you know that is also a hardware okay hard disk is a hardware okay processor is a hardware chip is a hardware ram is a hardware rom is a hardware whatever available in the computer if you open the computer and remove part by part every part is referred as a hardware okay all these hardware components collected or combined together to form a system that a system is referred as computer system now the question is hardware alone a computer system just now i told you all physical components can be referred as hardware using the term called hardware component that's all hardware is just a machine or physical component that's all okay so now understand one thing a hardware alone cannot be referred as a computer system it can be called as a system 
okay you understand that a hardware component can be referred as a system but not computer system then what do you mean by computer system for that you should know the definition of computer what computer does receives input process them and produce output how it is possible just by having a machine okay so if anybody ask you one question is hardware alone a computer system your answer must be no it will work because if it is working then only we can do some operation if it is working then only we can do some calculation we can process data if it is not working it is just a physical component or machine that's all okay it is just a machine okay so e for uh, making it as a for making a system into a computer system that a system must be made to work or made to function or made to operate or made to process something okay now the question is how the hardware will work or how the physical components will work how the input keyboard will work how the output monitor will work how the cpu will work okay you know very well in our computer world everything will be working based on one key word called the instruction if i want a hardware to be operating then it needs some instruction or in other words if i want a computer to operate or to work it needs some instruction that is i have to give some instruction to the computer based on that instruction only computer will work if i say computer to get the input computer will get the input if i say the computer to produce output then computer will produce the output see very simple example in your program what you are doing scan of what does it mean i am instructing the computer to accept some input that is one instruction i am using print of i am instructing the computer to display something on the monitor that is another instruction i am giving c equal to a plus b i am instructing the computer to add two numbers and store the output in c c computer components or hardware will work only based on the instruction given by the user or only it will work only based on the instruction who will give the instruction of course we have to give the instruction okay so in order to make a hardware component to, to work it needs some instruction of course you know very well set of instructions are referred as programs and the set of programs are referred as software okay combination of software and hardware then only it is referred as a computer system okay <clears throat> software can be broadly classified into two categories one is system software another one is application software okay in that first time taking the application software what do you mean by application software if you are writing one program to add two numbers that is application software okay what are the programs you are writing at present all programs are referred as application software or part of application software that's all okay now you should know what is system software application software example now you are having ms office ms word ms powerpoint ms excel all these are referred as ms application software then even web browser see you are typing you are giving some instruction through web browser compiler ellame all are referred as application software okay now what do you mean by system software okay see the word system has been included here okay now i am taking the word system and joining it with the software system software now what is a software set of instruction what is application software set of instruction that are applied by the user or that is used to get some application for the user that is application software now i am just refining the word system software okay 
before going into what is system software first you should see the example of system software okay then you can easily understand that's all okay if i want to give a better example for system software then you can use the word operating system okay now i am giving you only one uh, definition for system software software that is used to make the system to work that is system software work. what is software instruction what is the requirement for hardware it needs some instruction okay so making the hardware to work i need the instruction that instruction is referred as software so software applied on the system or software used to make the system or hardware to work is called the system software one example of system software is operating system okay so what are all the things grouped together to form a computer system hardware that we already studied then system software for system purpose for the system to work for the hardware components to work for the input output and processing you need to, to work i need some instruction for that i am using operating system then application software i am having hardware and i am having system software using these two i can write a program and compile it and get the output okay okay now i am redefining the word called the computer system as what is a computer system station of these four components combination of these four components grouping of these four components all these four components are interrelated to each other 